Hey everyone, Stephanie here, coffee drinker, book lover, and reviewer of many things. And today I am going to talk about books from Paper Pie that would be good for spring. And I know a lot of people have spring break coming up and I wanted to make sure that I got this video out there. Um, if you hear noises in the background, my kiddo's on the other side of the other room with her iPad and some toys. So <laughs> you do what you gotta do, right? Sometimes you have to be prepared for spring break to be rainy the whole time, so you're going to need activities. Hi. One of the things that I was super excited whenever I saw was Paper Pie has embroidery kits. We have Unicorn and Mermaid and Owl and... Zebra. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a llama. Hot guys. There's a fairy one. Um, and there's a flamingo one. And they're so cool. I want them all. Like, maybe this year for my birthday, I'm just going to get them for myself. And then Paper Pie has this spa lab, which looks super cool. And it says that it's all natural. And it says, choose your own spa adventure. All natural spa lab teaches budding cosmetic scientists how to use natural ingredients to make store quality beauty, including bath bomb, scent scented stones, body scrubs, fairy glitter, fairy dust, glitter gel, lip balm, masks, and bath salts. Th these projects and recipes use household materials and custom molds and equipped equipment and equipment <laughs> to create scrumptious scrum scrumptious smelling spa treatment at home. The citric acid added, adds pizzazz to bath bombs, and the cosmetic grade shimmer powder gives a glittery glow to your products. This science, uh, the science behind the ingredients and the formulas, is peppered throughout, and fully the fully illustrated book. Recipes include household, household items and ingredients not included in the kit. You can find the list of ingredients to use in the activity book. So how cool is that? It's like a science kit, but you get the reward of giving yourself a little spa treatment afterwards. Um, I thought that was cute. I can't wait until my little one is a bit older so we can make our own stuff. There's also an all-natural lip balm, balm boutique kit. Sounds super cool. Um, we also have stem, the stem kits, which would be fun to do um, or fun to have for when the kids are home. So you could just be like, here's something new to do and kind of get them where they're not on their electronics the whole time. Um, <laughs> this is, okay, so I kind of want this one because it sounds really cool. It's the squishy human, human body. Um, like you get to take the body parts out and put them back in. I know it sounds really gross, but to me, I'm like, that's so cool. Um, <laughs> and they're learning because you can learn about the parts of the body. There's also Storm Watcher Weather Lab. So like, Maybe it is rainy the whole entire spring break, which I've had happen a few times whenever I was a kid. And I was, it was like, because back then we didn't have all the electronics. Um, there is a bug, a bug playground um, kit. It, I'm not exactly sure what it is. So let me click on it. Grab the bug catcher and head outside to hunt for background specimens. Backyard specimens. 
Deposit your crickets, pill bugs, ants, ladybugs, and other creepy crawlies in this bug playground and observe their behavior. Oh, that sounds fun. So, like, the little playground has, like, it looks like there's a slide and I don't, I can't get a bigger picture, but it looks really cool. There's also an outdoor science lab, a secret, uh, oh, spy school, secret ciphers. That sounds like I would like that. Kitchen science lab. Uh, for, it says 40 activities. Ooh. Um, archi architect electronic smart house. I think it looks like there's a little, like, dollhouse looking thing. You'll see the picture. It says... This creative STEM, STEM toy allows expiring architects and engineers to design and build module structures and when the and then power them up with lights, sounds, sensory, and motorized parts. How cool does that sound? Oh my goodness. Now, oh, I want all of these too. Maybe not the bug one. I'm not a big bug fan. Sneaky Surveillance. It's part of the uh, Spy School series. It looks like it's got 20 fun filled spy... Spy essence missions? I can't read all of the words on the box. And then STEM 101, which is a new... It looks like it's new. You put uh, 35 amazing activities... Ultimate squishy human body. What's the difference from the other one? I am not sure. Uh, you track it weather lab. Bless you. <coughs> and organic science lab. Alright, so also something that you could do for spring break is get some puzzles. Either actual puzzles, um, or we have some logic type puzzles. Um, let me talk through it. So we have some books that have like this, the one I'm looking at, this one right here. It's a hundred, a hundred logic puzzles. And this one is actually for six and up. So yeah, I would probably do this one. Um, it's got codes and drawing. They're paper, it's paper and it has questions to test your knowledge and has like code breaking stuff and mazes and so that's super fun <clears throat> um we have other ones like that too um like oh like uh the look and find puzzle where it's a di this one's dinosaur theme that i'm looking at um uh, this one says that it's for four and up and it's got some like spot matching, spotting and matching and counting and talking about the different um, dinosaurs in the books. It's a typical look and find book. Um, we have other ones also. We have one uh, look and find puzzles at the zoo. The forest. There's a unicorn puzzle pad, which um, I kind of want to get for my kiddo because she likes unicorns. Um, we have math puzzles, a uh, math puzzle pad in case maybe you want to keep keep math going during spring break. Uh, nighttime puzzle. Uh, look and find puzzles looks like it's nighttime animals or no nocturnal animals possibly we have the look and find under the sea and just number puzzles and games which i like those also Sudo sudoku was always one of my favorite things i have probably 12 sudoku books 
floating around my storage right now and probably one here because I had to have something to do. I, I know you can get the app on your phone. It's just not the same. It's not the same. Uh, there's a look and find puzzle on the farm. There's word puzzles and games, which is like, it's got, oh, it looks like it has word searches and um, crosswords. My brain stopped working. It was like, those things with the words that connect. Um, <laughs> uh, space puzzle pad. And then we have books. Uh, they're puzzle tag books so like you have puzzle pieces and then you open the little book and, and you find which of the puzzle pieces goes to that page it's really cute i think it's for the younger kids but it's it's so cute paper pie also has um puzzles that have books with them which is super cute so you get the puzzle and um the book that it corresponds with, which is like, yay! Okay, the one that comes to mind is our Billy B. Brown puzzle. Um, it's super cute. I love the Billy B. Brown series. And uh, to have a puzzle to go with the book is like awesome to me. So, yeah. We also have uh, Planet Earth. Um, this one is a 300-piece puzzle, but it, it also comes with a book. Um, so you're learning and doing, you know, the puzzle. And I just think puzzles are so fun. Um, we also have a uh, one for younger kids. It's a number. It's got numbers. numbers. And it, it also has a book with it. It's 25 pieces. There's one about colors. It's really cute. It's like little people and it has, they all have umbrellas and it's raining. And that one I'm curious about because it also comes with a book. And I'm like, does it just go through the colors? Um, <laughs> it's 25 pieces. There is a 100 piece. There's a 100 piece one that's in the jungle. Then we also have these little, um, two-piece puzzles. My kid has the, um, the sea one, I believe, or the ocean. Um, it's two pieces of one animal, and you just put, put them together. It also comes with a cute little book, and then there's a little story that goes with it. <clears throat> then we have a periodic table. Oh, timetable, periodic table. Oh, under the sea. That's the one my kid has is under the sea. Um, there's a 300-piece one of cities of the world. There's a 300-piece one of the dinosaur timeline. We, then we also have these cute three by three, like little nine piece puzzles and you get three in a box and they come with a book too. It's super cute. I want those. I want them all. I want all the puzzles. There's a Cinderella one that's 30 pieces. There's a bug one that's a hundred piece. So like puzzles are definitely a good choice. Not only um, are you having your kid focus, you know, got the little, depending on how old your kids are, maybe they are working on their fine motor skills, or maybe you just need them to sit for a few minutes and stay calm. Just make sure that you only give them one puzzle at a time and that they know that the puzzle stays in this spot. Also, I don't recommend you do it on the floor if you have um, animals that might run away with it. Do I sit? No, thank you. There are also some games. Um, my favorite is there are some Escape the Room games. Uh, yeah, I love. I used to go 
before COVID. I used to go and do escape the room rooms. Like you go to the place and you solve the, the stuff to get out. So whenever I saw that we had escape the room books, puzzle game things, I was like, yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we have one called, can you escape the museum? And then there's one, can you escape the video game? And those are both really fun. Um, we also have some matching games, um, dinosaur bugs. And then there's, oh, my kid's favorite. I don't know if I can get to it. My kiddo's favorite is the one, two, three, four, five. It's a, once I caught a fish alive. And so they they come with little fishies. And um, usually there's a cover. Cover. And then you take that off. And then you start at the beginning of the book. And so they have, there's a little fishing pole. And it's a, can you catch the first fish one? And they're color coded. And on the back there's numbers. And it comes with a little fishing pole. She just saw me holding it. Here, go find your fishing pole. You can go play with it. I'm sorry. Um, it's a big hit in my house. So, also have activity cards. Um, these are really good for car rides. And there, there's one that's a hundred things to do on a car trip. A lot of people go on car trips. We also have um, Animal Doodle, which are these wipe clean cards that are about this size of my face, bigger than my hand. And there's an animal, but it's missing something. So, like, there's going to be the owl without its, like, feathers. And there's going to be a tiger without the stripes. And um, it'll be like, hey, can you make this shape into this many animals? And so... It's really cute, too, and since it's a wipe clean marker, it just wipes off if it gets on anything. I know I didn't talk very much about books this time around, but I wanted you to know that there there are books for, you know, springtime also. We also have really cool coloring books. So... This one is suited for springtime. It is for the littler ones who need a basic coloring book. We also have more advanced coloring books. Um, so there's that. We also have the magic paint books, which are really cool. Um, I enjoy the magic paint books, and we have the more simpler ones, and then we also have more advanced ones. Um, you'll have to actually go on the site and type in magic paint books or go into the description. There might be a link for it if I could get it to work. Um, there will be a link for all of these books that I've shown or talked about. So don't worry about that. You can just go to the description and check those out. But um, the magic paint books are my favorite because all you need is water. So whether it be a paintbrush with some water or you take it outside into the rain and watch the raindrops do it, or maybe you want to be creative and you get an ice pop stick, popsicle stick, and you stick it in some water and you freeze it and then you pull it out and let them use the ice to do it. Oh, or like for my kid's second birthday, we did uh, spray bottles. And when they got to spray to see the color change, it was a big hit. Um, so there's so many options you can do with that. Those are fun. Um, we also have other activity books and wipe clean books, which are my favorite because once the kid is done, you can wipe it all off and let them do it again. And um, sometimes that's what me and my kid do for an hour. She goes zhu, 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 all over the page. I wipe it off. She does it again, gives it to me. I wipe it off. <laughs> and you know what? It's, it's a bonding experience. Um, 
If you want book recommendations or spring, I would recommend anything for outdoors. Um, let me see real fast. Outdoors. Um, there is our Shine a Light books. There is a book called Secrets of the, the Seashore. So maybe y'all are going to be going to the beach and your kid needs something to do in the car. The cool thing about the Shine a Light books is whenever you shine something through the page, you get to see it like answers the question that you asked on the top page. So like they could hold it up to the car window and see through and get the answer there it's that's just an idea otherwise you can use a, a flashlight um one two three by the sea is one of our favorites i read it probably once a week at least <laughs> um a th thousand and one things to spot we have a few different ones um vegetable garden secrets of the vegetable garden that's a china light book um uh, 50 things to do uh, science things to make and do 50 science things to make and do could be fun and then we have younger kid books like rain rain go away it's a small little board book um it's the, all of those little board books are cute um If you go on the Paper Pie website using me, of course, um, and search nature, outdoors, um, there's actually a, a, an outdoor book. It's something that I want. It's on the list of books that I'm going to get for my kiddo for her next box of books that I get her. Um, Wonders of the World. Survival Skill Kit, sorry, Survival Skills Handbook. It's the uh, Bear Giles, Gra Giles, I can't remember how to say his name. Um, that's really good for older kids. Um, they're cute. I mean, uh, I said wipe clean books, right? Anyway, lots of books that you can get. Um, Lots of books that you can get. Tons of fun games and activities to do in case it's raining or you are on long, long car rides. And um, just keeping kids interactive for their time out of school so that they're not sitting around on games all day and they can tell their friends when they get back, Oh, I did this! Because, you know, give them something to talk about. Um... That is all I have to say on this video. I hope that uh, it's not too long. Right now, it says that I've been recording for 37 minutes. A lot of that's going to be cut out because I had to keep getting up for my kiddo. Um, or she wanted to come over and sit in my lap. And um, I was like, no, I'm trying to record. So, um, I hope you like this video. And don't forget that I am a Paper Pie um, branding partner, so a uh, consultant. And when you buy a book or a game or an activity from my website using my link below, I do get a small portion of the sales price. Um, yeah. I hope that these books books and games and activities and puzzles because puzzles are my favorite um in fact we might go do some puzzles um <laughs> i hope that they help you on spring break or just springtime and um let me know if you want me to do a video on just like garden flower bug outdoor stuff i can do that also um but until then, don't forget to like this video by giving me a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what you think of these activities. For, do you think they're suitable for indoor, outdoor, um, spring break fun? And um, 
subscribe because I will be coming out with another video shortly for Easter because Easter is coming up. Easter is coming up. Ooh. Um, and share. Share this video for other people who have kids that are going to be going on spring break. That is all I have to say, and um, I couldn't remember if spring break was before or after Easter, because I think Easter this year is Easter this year is March 31st, if I'm correct, and I don't know when kids do spring break, because things have changed since I was a kid. Um, let me know when your kid is going on spring break. <laughs> so go back to the comments and tell me that, please, because I don't know. I have a three-year-old. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to finish this coffee and go play with my kiddo. I'll see you on my next video. Bye!